Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So y'all, before we start the message, um, I did want to address some stuff that I was divinely guided to address. Um, this has happened, you know, multiple times before, but I didn't address it because... You know, it, it, it don't ruffle my feathers, you know what I mean? They they possibly think that they do, you know, they're wasting their time, their energy, you know what I mean, doing what they're doing, but it ain't doing nothing to me, but further confirming who I am and who they're not. Um, but there are some punks, some cowards that are, you know, hiding behind fake profiles, you know, going on um, old uh, videos in the comments where the comment sections are open. You know, and, 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 you know, using their hateful words, you know, to try to discourage me or to try to make me feel like that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do or that I'm not who I am. You know what I mean? Which, again, further lets me know who I am and who they're not. Um, and so, yeah, because it's happened multiple times and I've literally, you know what I mean, kind of let it go. Because, again, I know who they are and I know who I am. Um... But I was told to address it because it is affecting the energy. And I've been knowing, uh, been, uh, yeah, noticing in the last, you know, maybe three or four days that the energy has shifted. So it's, yeah, it's time to address it. So first of all, uh, however many of them it is, you know, because again, this isn't the first time. And whoever this is, they they stated, you know, that, um, you know, they've been on the channel before and they possibly yeah are still gonna try to lurk but after this if they try to lurk it's it's a wrap so i bind that person and whoever else you know what i mean is trying to come against me this channel uh my family the collective right now in the name of jesus and yeah they need to return back to the bottomless pit that they came from and so i'm gonna leave it at that just know you know what i mean uh because i pray for my haters so just know i'm gonna pray for you because by the looks of it, you gotta, you gotta, you got a lot that you need to be doing instead of lurking on my page and probably others' pages. Um, you, 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 when you look in the mirror, you're you're disappointed, and there are people around you that are disappointed. Just know, I do know that, and so by the end of the day, more than likely, I'll know exactly who you are. Um, and so, with that being said, if I was you, I would go on. You know, you you came, you saw, and you got red, and yeah, move on. And just know that uh, my spiritual team, they don't play. And so, don't be surprised if they're at your front door. So, with that being said, let's hop in and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you could be seeing the angel number 888, the angel number 333. Somebody could be born in 1984 or 1988. Somebody could be 48 years old. The angel number 919 could be relevant. Um, we're going to look into that angel number 919, but something definitely could take place by September the 19th. Um, which is give or take 30 days. So something could happen within the next 30 days. Somebody could be from North Carolina or North Carolina could be relevant to somebody. Something could have taken place on August the 1st. And so, yeah, some, it's some information. It's some tea. So somebody possibly could receive some tea. But I feel like that somebody doesn't need to um, reveal the tea or, some, yeah, the tea that somebody possibly is receiving or has received. It's not for everybody. Um, because, yeah, I channeled a, a message and the message was not everybody's cup of tea. So I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I feel like somebody possibly needs confirmation. You know what I mean? 
So you're not everybody's cup of tea. Everybody not going to like you. Everybody not going, you know what I'm saying, cheerlead for you. And, and that's fine. You know what I mean? You're not doing anything wrong. It just further lets you know the power that you hold. Um, somebody's first mother or last name could start with an L, a C, or an H. Somebody's name could be Max or Lee. But yeah, some, some, some piping hot tea that somebody possibly finds out is not to be shared. You know what I'm saying? With other people. Mm-hmm. But I'm also picking up too with that that yeah, somebody or some people could are uh, could find out about some information about some piping hot tea and they don't like it because it's not their piping hot tea or it's not, you know what I'm saying, their good news. So it's something about yeah, somebody could receive uh some good news from something that could have taken place on August the first, or people have already found out that somebody's gonna receive some some good news, you know what I mean, and they're mad. But oh well, that's their problem, you know what I mean? So let's just hop in, y'all, and uh, see what's going on. So let's look into this angel number 919. It says the angel number 919 is said to be a sign from the universe that a person is about to begin a new chapter in their spiritual journey. It can signify the end of a difficult period and the beginning of a phase of positive energy and growth. It can also be a reminder that the person has the strength and wisdom to move forward and embrace the changes that are coming. The number 919 can also be a call from guardian angels to trust in the divine plan and have faith in the universe's guidance. So somebody's about to begin a new chapter in their spiritual journey. But it's after, you know what I'm saying, some type of difficult period that they've gone through. So somebody is being asked to trust in the divine plan and to have faith in some type of guidance that's going to be brought to them. So that could be the T. So whatever this T is that somebody's about to receive, yeah, somebody's not to repeat it or somebody's supposed to keep it to themselves. So let's see what's going on, y'all. Yeah, get ready, get ready, get ready. So somebody needs to get ready. Get ready to, to receive this piping hot tea. Mm -hmm. Something is over. So yeah, uh, some type of difficult time in somebody's life is over. So yeah, somebody needs to get ready, get ready, get ready to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, embark on some type of new new path on somebody's spiritual journey for sure. Mm -hmm. What else, Holy Spirit? Somebody could have um, like red hair or like reddish orange hair. Somebody could wear red lipstick. Somebody could be a lawyer. Something about a lawyer could be significant. Mm-hmm. We got the past. Wow. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to use the past against somebody. Or that's literally what somebody was doing. You know what I mean? And that's over with. So it's kind of like, yeah, the past is the past. But that's literally the energy that I picked up, I think, yesterday. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up too with something about, yeah, it's over for those, you know what I'm saying? That possibly, yeah, from somebody's past that was trying to use, you know, some stuff in their past against them. So this could be like, yeah, somebody's anger, you know what I mean? It's over because somebody, yeah, has, has dealt with their anger. Somebody has healed some type of anger issue or, you know what I mean? Um, if this is, yeah, somebody trying to use the fact, you know, that they, you know, we're lazy, you know what I mean? Well, the fact of the matter is, yeah, it's, somebody is basically showing and proving that, that that they're handling business, you know? I feel like it's 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 some stuff that, you know, people possibly, yeah, made up in their own minds to try to use against somebody. And they basically manipulated other people to believe that what they made up was true about somebody. But, you know what I mean? It could be, yeah, like somebody had an anger problem or, you know what I mean? Somebody, you know, could have been antisocial and maybe, yeah, somebody is, is like, you know getting out there now and stuff like that it's it's over for people trying to use 
um, some stuff against somebody. And we do have the, the basket. So something about, yeah, a basket case. So something about, yeah, somebody's mental health. So, yeah. So there could have been people that, yeah, could have tried to use somebody's mental health against them or something like that. Or there's people that, yeah, possibly know how to trigger somebody. So somebody, yeah, could have mental health issues. Most people in the world have a mental health issue or two. You know what I mean? Uh, nobody's completely sane. So if people think that they're completely sane, wrong. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so there could be people that, yeah, know how to trigger somebody. And so, yeah, they were doing that. But somebody definitely could be healed, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I'm saying, could be in the healing process. And so, yeah, uh, the stuff that possibly triggered somebody in the past it no longer can trigger somebody. Or, you know what I mean, past people can no longer, you know, use, you know, whatever they were using to, you know what I'm saying, trigger somebody. And it's something about, yeah, because the little boy energy card came out. So something about, yeah, a mask of energy being childish and immature. But it's also, too, something about um, somebody trying to use a child against somebody. It's over for that as well. Or trying to, yeah, use somebody, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, to to go against somebody or use somebody as a, as a pawn. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody is definitely daydreaming about a new life or daydreaming about the future. Something about, yeah, trying to use kids against somebody as well. Somebody can no longer use kids against somebody. Mm-hmm. We There's a lot of kids out here, so if it's not kids, it's, yeah, just childish, immature people. You know what I mean? Basically sitting around, you know, with their mental health issues, uh, trying to figure out how to trigger somebody else's mental health issues. But, yeah, somebody is already healed or somebody is healing, um, you know what I mean, from um, those uh, mental health issues. Yeah, it's kind of too like, yeah, if somebody has kids and, you know, uh, people know, you know, that somebody's kids are their soft spot. Uh, yeah, people definitely could have been trying to, you know, use somebody's kids, you know, to trigger them. But, yeah, it's kind of like somebody has, has you know, healed when it comes to that as well. Like, somebody loves their kids, but it's kind of like, yeah. Somebody basically has realized that the stuff that people, you know, try to use against them, you know, it's just words. Mm-hmm. Somebody spaced out. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, it's time uh, for somebody to bid somebody farewell or something like that. So it's time for somebody to let go of some stuff. This could definitely be to let go of some type of childhood um, memories, you know what I mean? And maybe it's like the bad ones because I really don't feel like, yeah, they're saying, you know, letting go of the good childhood memories. But it's something about, yeah, like the past childhood trauma. Somebody, yeah, maybe it's time for somebody to address that. So it goes back to, yeah, like somebody, you know, addressing some type of anger issue or some type of mental issue. You know, somebody could be, could have addressed some type of, you know, career issue. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff that, yeah, possibly uh, was hindering somebody from moving forward. And so, yeah, it could be time for somebody to address some past childhood issues or something like that. Or that's about, that's about to take place for somebody. I've seen the cock blocking card, so yeah, people are no longer going to be able to cock block as well. Yeah, the bright idea card. Mm hmm. But this is also, too, kind of like because, you know, going with the flow of the message with the angel number 911. I said 911. I don't know. Somebody could be saying the angel number 911, but something about, yeah, emergency. So somebody could work for emergency services or, yeah, there definitely could be an emergency that takes place. 
Um, but I was about to say, you know, um, this is the guidance that's about to be brought to somebody. And it's something about, yeah, somebody's intuition. So somebody, yeah, needs to trust their intuition, but they also, yeah, need to trust in, you know, the divine plan and, you know, trust in the guidance that's about to be brought to them. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be um, trying to uh, figure out something. And I feel like whoever this person is, is they, they look kind of sneaky. So I feel like somebody definitely needs to be aware. This, is, this could be somebody that uh, has a platform. Because this is the platform card. Or this is somebody that, yeah, is plotting on somebody's platform. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody, yeah, but there's also somebody that, um, yeah, is like wondering, you know what I'm saying? Is this their their future? Is is this, you know, what they're destined to do? I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to know that, yeah. They're destined to do whatever it is that they're doing. If this is some type of social media platform, yeah, at this moment in time, yeah, that's it's a part of your destiny. And so that's what you're supposed to be doing at this moment in time. But maybe somebody is about to receive some type of guidance, you know, that, that basically tells them, you know, like, okay, you you, you, you you did the platform, you know what I mean? You you done your TikTok or you done, you know, um, you know, your YouTube or, you know, you streamed, you know, long enough. It's time for you to, you know what I'm saying, move on. Or something about, yeah, a level up. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also, yeah, trying to figure out how they can get on top. There definitely is somebody, you know what I'm saying, that, that possibly is trying to compete with somebody on the low. So while somebody, you know what I'm saying, is dealing with, you know what I'm saying, uh stuff in their life you know what i mean as far as like healing and addressing you know stuff and you know trying to leave stuff in the past and you know to basically yeah um move forward in their life yeah there's somebody else that's that's yeah definitely um strategizing planning and planning on how to yeah cock block somebody or how to um yeah stop somebody you know from continuing to heal or you know what I'm saying stopping somebody from trying to address some type of childhood um, past childhood trauma or past childhood uh, issues you know what I'm saying it's also too something about yeah somebody's trying to figure out what somebody's thinking or how somebody is getting the information that they're getting this could be spiritual information or this could be physical information so it goes back to, yeah, not everybody's cup of tea. Somebody's not, yeah, they're not supposed to be reveal, you know what I'm saying, their source. Or they're not supposed to, yeah. It's kind of like, so with that being said, yeah. If somebody says, if somebody asks somebody, you know, like, say somebody has a spiritual platform like this one. And, you know, they ask somebody like, how do you get your, where do you get your spiritual messages from? Somebody could say, the most high, God. And I feel like, yeah, somebody don't believe somebody. Or somebody else yeah, trying to make somebody look like that, yeah, there it's a lie. So I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to be aware, but it goes back to, yeah, them people lurking. So it is what it is. Somebody's also, yeah, trying to figure out how somebody, you know what I'm saying, yeah, is on top of their shit. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, has, has, has lived, you know what I'm saying, not really lived a rough life, but has gone through a lot, you know what I mean? And it's possibly, yeah, still going through a lot and, and not saying that, yeah, somebody is just overwhelmed with issues. But when I, I'm, what I'm saying is, yeah, when somebody definitely is, you know what I'm saying, continuing to heal. So somebody could be on their healing journey. And so, yeah, they're going through a lot to be able to do this. You know what I mean? It's not easy to heal, especially from childhood stuff when somebody's a, a whole adult out here. So, yeah, it takes a lot. And so, yeah, somebody could be going through a lot mentally, emotionally, physically, you know what I mean? Trying to, you know, stay aligned, but at the same time, you know, trying to, you know, do what the divine wants them to do. You know what I mean? Again, I tell people all the time, it's easy to be a karmic. It's hard to be a divine being. You know? And so, yeah, 
I feel like that there is somebody that's strategizing, planning, and pl planning and plotting. You know what I'm saying? On somebody's platform, or they're or they're trying to yeah strategize, plan and plot on how to uh, get in somebody's head, or you know, um, yeah, basically how to cock block or how to create some type of blockage. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. So yeah. Somebody is, is a loving individual. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody, yeah, is full of r real love. Not just love, but real love. Somebody, yeah. I feel like that whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, you're somebody that you give hugs. You know what I'm saying? You don't shake hands, you give hugs, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's trying to figure out how, yeah, somebody is being looked at as a loving individual. So it, it, it leads me to believe that, yeah, somebody is behind the scenes. So going back to, yeah, somebody's trying to use somebody's past. So somebody is behind the scenes. So this is somebody that possibly has some type of, you know what I'm saying, social media platform. Like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or what have you. And they possibly, yeah, are talking about somebody behind their back. But... If somebody has a platform, you know, regardless of how many people see somebody's platform, yeah, those people see somebody in this energy. That's the only energy that people see. So it's kind of like that has to be the energy that somebody is in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's over for somebody or some people trying to use, you know, somebody's past against them or trying to use somebody's mental health against them or trying to use whatever they were trying to use against them. Mm-hmm. But it's, but it too, it's kind of like, yeah, somebody was loving in the past, somebody's loving in the present, and they're going to be loving, you know what I'm saying, in the future. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, I feel like somebody is definitely going to do something in a very loving way. So it's kind of like, yeah, bidding somebody farewell in a loving way, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah. Having to break somebody, you know what I'm saying? Break somebody with some bad news, but in a loving way. So this could be, yeah, um, telling the boss, like, you know, uh, it's been good while I lasted, but I got to go. Or, you know, this could be, yeah, telling, you know, a family member or a friend, like, we've been through a lot, but I got to go. I got to move on, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, yeah, there's a lot of people that can't go with somebody on on this path or something like that it's kind of like yeah somebody has allowed people to you know hold on to their coattail for long enough and it's time for somebody yeah to embark on a new path by themselves so i feel like yeah somebody possibly is going to have to break some news to somebody or some people and i feel like yeah somebody needs to do it in a loving way mm -hmm. somebody could have dark dark hair or blonde hair or reddish orange hair mm-hmm Why is it past here? But somebody's back is against the wall. Because they, yeah, we're trying to get somebody else's back against the wall. Somebody's back was against the wall in the past. Their back is against the wall as we speak. And their back is possibly, yeah, going to be against the wall in their, uh, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to their future. It's something about, yeah, all this person does is daydream about the future or daydream about them wanting better or daydreaming. But they don't put, yeah, they don't put no action. They, yeah. They're all talk, no action. So I feel like somebody possibly, yeah, could be a part of their strategy, strategy is to act like that, you know what I'm saying, that they're somebody's friend or, you know what I mean, that somebody is their favorite person or whatever the situation is, you know, to, to get some help as far as, you know, uh, to create, you know what I'm saying, some type of present or even, you know what I'm saying, yeah, to help somebody to create a present so that they can have a future. But I feel like... uh. Whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, that's a part of what you do anyway. You know what I mean? You, you, you're, you're a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. We got, why don't you chill with some beef and get some ticket and said in the reverse. So it's kind of like, yeah, I feel like even people that you know have talked about you behind your back or treated you a certain type of way, you still showed them, you know what I'm saying? Real love. You still showed them compassion, empathy. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, you're an understanding person and it could be because of the type of life that you did go through. You know what I mean? So you're able to see both sides. Mm hmm. But at the same time, it's kind of like when these this person or these people had the chance, you know what I mean, 
to take the help when they were supposed to or you know what I'm saying to eat the food when it was put in front of them yeah it's kind of like they 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 turn their back they ignore the food or they just sat there staring at the food like I'm not about to eat this or whatever the situation is I feel like yeah you try to share some soul food or you try to share some wisdom and knowledge but yeah they didn't accept it and so it's it's time for you to go it's time for you to move on so whatever they got they got whatever they didn't get oh well mm-hmm but yeah, it's over. It's over when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, the beef. It's over when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, some type of war that that, that somebody possibly, yeah, has, has way, uh, waged against you in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion that they did. But yeah, this is love, not war. Energy. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of, it's kind of too like, yeah. Somebody don't got no beef with, with none of those people. You know what I'm saying? That um, came against them or, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, waged war against them or whatever. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody somebody has healed. Somebody, you know what I mean, is, is yeah. So it's giving me like the forgive, forget energy. If somebody hasn't, that's what somebody is in the process of doing. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody has forgiven, you know, but they just haven't, for, haven't forgotten. It's something about, yeah. Somebody still needs to forget or that's what somebody's in the process of doing. So it goes back to, yeah, kind of like erasing the, the bad parts, you know what I'm saying, of somebody's life or, you know what I'm saying, the bad parts of people in general. Because it's kind of like, you know, we're, we, we, we can see the good and the bad in people. But as divine beings, you know, we're not really supposed to focus on the bad in people. You know? It's kind of like, yeah, you love somebody into, you know, uh, doing good stuff. So it's kind of like you, you, you recognize the bad, you know what I mean? And, and basically, yeah, you, you, you have the bad in your mind, you know what I mean? So that you can help that person. So going back to, you know, like somebody's mental health, you know, if you've healed from some type of mental health issues, you know what I mean? And I'm, you can't fully heal from mental health issues, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um, you've gotten to the point to where, yeah, you can balance it out. But there's somebody else that literally is a basket case. You're not going to sit there and call somebody a basket case every day. You know what I mean? Because it's just going to make it worse. You know that they're a basket case. You know what I'm saying? But you're not getting ready to tell them, yeah, you're a basket case. No. You're going to love them into healing. And so I feel like the, yeah, that's literally what you could be doing. Or that's literally what you have tried to do with some people. But there are definitely are some people that, yeah, they possibly didn't accept it. And it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've definitely been a blessing. This is, yeah, the sailboat card is a blessing card. Mm-hmm, yeah. Somebody definitely could be bald. Or somebody could be balding. But yeah, this is the soaring over your haters card. So yeah, whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, you're soaring over your haters. But it's because what you do... You know, you know, at least, you know, you try, you can't do it all the time because we're humans. We have feelings and emotions, but for the most part, you know, you try to do everything, you know, with love or, you know what I'm saying? With a loving attitude, you, yeah, you, you, you basically, yeah, love, not war. And so, yeah, that's one of the main reasons why you're soaring over your haters. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely could see a dead cow and there definitely could be like a bald eagle that, um, yeah, could be like eating on it or something like that or something about, yeah, somebody lurking. So the fact of the matter is, yeah, while somebody's over there trying to heal, while somebody's over there, you know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah, doing what they need to do in order to continue to soar, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily over their haters, but if they're soaring over their haters, it is what it is. Yeah, somebody's lurking. Mm hmm Wow. The color beige could be significant. So somebody could like to wear the color beige. Something about a lab. A lab and beef. So I feel like, yeah, we're possibly going to find out some information about, yeah, some, some, some meat being made in a lab. 
I mean, we already know a little bit, but I feel like we're getting ready to find a lot, out a lot of it about some, yeah, some meat being made in a lab. Mm-hmm. Why is this bright idea here? But it's kind of too like, yeah, while somebody's over there all spaced out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, basically watching somebody, yeah, soar over their haters. Mm-hmm. They're also trying to figure out how somebody is soaring over their haters because, again, it goes back to, yeah, somebody doing some stuff behind somebody's back. Yeah, because whoever this person is, they're not happy. Mm-hmm. So whoever this person is, yeah, they're trying to figure out how they can cause somebody to not be happy or for somebody, yeah, to, to, to basically uh, be angry. So it's kind of like um, somebody wants somebody to, you know, when, when somebody posts on their social media, you know, um, they want somebody to be angry, you know what I'm saying, and do angry stuff. But that's what this person does. So this is somebody that, yeah, they go on social media and they are angry. And, and it could be, yeah, they're talking about whoever, you know, this message is for. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely is strategizing, planning, and plotting on how to, yeah, get somebody in their angry bag. The opposite of happy is, yeah, sad. But this person is, this person is angry. They're sad. They're depressed. They're miserable. And it's because, yeah, it's kind of too, like, yeah. Whatever this person is saying is basically, yeah, somebody's showing the opposite. So these people could say that somebody's a basket case, but people are only seeing this person in this loving energy. You know, this person could be saying, yeah, this person is a drama magnet or this person. Yeah, all they want to do is 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 argue and fight. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, the only thing that people are saying is that, yeah, somebody wants love and not war. You know what I mean? Wow. Why is this platform here? So whoever this person is, um, it's kind of like, yeah, while they're strategizing, planning, and plotting, I feel like, yeah, somebody is, yeah. It's kind of like whoever this person is, they're in somebody's rear view. So somebody, yeah, has already surpassed this person, but this person is still strategizing, planning, and plotting, but they just don't know that they're not going to catch up. But it's because of the envy, jealousy, and malice that they have in their heart. Why is this platform here? Yeah. Mad, 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 plasmad. So, yeah, somebody wants somebody to, yeah, be so sad and angry. Somebody wants to want somebody to be all up in their feelings and emotions. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, somebody wants somebody to be basically like them. Whoever this person is, they're up in their feelings and emotions because all they do is daydream about uh, a certain type of life, but they don't put no action. This is somebody that, yeah, they'll walk around hollering about, I'm soaring over these. This is somebody that, yeah, they'll walk around hollering about they got 20 haters, but they ain't doing nothing to have a hater for. You know what I'm saying? They ain't doing nothing for somebody to hate on them about. But this is one of one of yeah somebody else's hater. So this is yeah a hater of whoever you know this message is resonating with, amongst all the other haters. But this is the one you know what I mean. And this is probably one of the people that's hiding behind the fake profile. I told y'all my spiritual team don't play. So here it is. I said by the end of the day, nah, my spiritual team is probably let me know who it is right freaking now. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, they're very emotional. They're a basket case. Yeah, they need help. So it goes back to mental health. So whoever this person is, they have mental health issues. You know what I mean? And they're trying to project their mental health issues onto somebody else. But at the same time, yeah, somebody else could have mental health issues and they're healing from it. So it's kind of like, yeah, it doesn't just work like that. And the fact of the matter is, somebody's, somebody's protected. And so I feel like this whoever this person is, it's making them... It's making them feel a certain type of way because, you know, somebody has came a long way. This could be, yeah, somebody that, you know, has known somebody for, you know, a little while or they think that they know somebody, but they really don't. You know what I mean? Um, and they, yeah, basically have watched somebody come a long way when it comes to their anger or when it comes to, you know, uh, whatever it is that, yeah, somebody is trying to trigger somebody with or, or you know what I'm saying, trying to 
hold against somebody. That they can no longer hold against somebody or use against somebody because, yeah, why don't you chill with some beef and get some chicken instead? Is in the reverse. Somebody's been tipped off about something. Or somebody's about to be tipped off by something. Uh, or about somebody or some people. Mm-hmm. So it goes back to, yeah, some tea. Somebody needs to, yeah, keep it to themselves. Whatever it is that somebody's about to receive from their um, spiritual team. Somebody definitely could about to be receiving some type of loving message. And it could be, you know, um, about the past, about something happened in the past. Or it could be a, a past person. Well, I'll just get ready, get ready with this loving here. We got a priest. So this is like high this is like the match of the high priestess. So this is a uh this is definitely, you know, a spiritual individual. This could be yeah, a religious individual. Uh this person could be 71 years old or born in 1971. So there is somebody, yeah, that that possibly yeah, could be seeing somebody in this loving energy. And something about the past. So there is somebody that yeah, they don't want um yeah, they come in peace is what I feel like. Mm-hmm. There definitely could be a priest that gets locked up with this imprisonment. But this is also giving me like confessional. So somebody could be trying to make some type of confession. Mm-hmm. It's also too something about yes. It's if somebody yeah so this is kind of giving me too like yeah somebody faking and fraud and you know what i'm saying this could be yeah that's somebody that's kind of a part of you know what i'm saying like some type of group some type of coven i ain't gonna say cult but it could be um yeah so it's kind of like yeah they could be getting locked up mm-hmm Wow, it's something about, yeah, real love. Somebody's about to, yeah, receive some type of real love. For sure. But somebody, yeah, is about to get locked up. If somebody's locked up, they definitely could be talking to, you know what I'm saying, like the 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 priest or whatever, you know what I'm saying, at the jail or, you know, wherever they're locked up at. This could be somebody that, yeah, could be locked up in, you know, a mental health uh, facility. Somebody could be 29 years old. Somebody could be born in 1992. Somebody definitely could get locked up for uh, for being a thief. And this thief card is a 24, which breaks down to a 6. So something about the past. Mm-hmm. Wow, so it's kind of like yeah, some type of some type of beef is over, some type of war is over, because somebody's about to be locked up, or it could be multiple people. So whoever you know it is hiding behind the fake profiles and stuff, and I'm just using this in my life, you know, it don't necessarily you know mean that it's going on in your life, but yeah, it could be people that are part of some type of group, some type of coven or something like that. Um, Soaring over your haters, why is this here? We got divine masculine. So there could be a divine masculine that could be locked up. January the 29th could be significant. But it's also too, yeah, somebody's about to, yeah, have some type of real love. There definitely is a divine masculine that's soaring over their haters. Mm-hmm. Somebody's daydreaming about a new life. Or about their future with a divine masculine. Or there's a divine masculine that's daydreaming about their future when it comes to somebody else. Mm -hmm. January 29th of 1971 could be significant.
Why is this happy card in the reverse? Somebody can't travel. The travel card came out in the reverse. Somebody definitely could be trying to stop a divine masculine from traveling. This travel card is a number 10. So something about, yeah, trying to stop um, some type of new beginning as well. And it definitely has something to do with traveling. And if it's not traveling, it's the fact that, yeah, trying to stop somebody from going towards somebody. Or trying to stop somebody from moving forward. January the 10th could be significant. October the 1st. October the 29th. So something about the month of January and the month of October is very relevant. And then we have uh, the change card that flipped over. This change card is the number 9. So some type of ending. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, yeah. So I did see that cock blocking card. So, it was, and, But it was in the reverse. So somebody can no longer cock block. It's something about, yeah. There is about to be some type of ending that takes place. With this uh, in, uh, this uh, card being number 9. But going back to the yeah, the angel number 919. And we do have 9 right here. We have 1 on this Divine Masculine card. And then we have the 29 on this Imprisonment card. So 919 is out here. But it's also 2. 911 is also out here as well. Somebody's not happy because of somebody's change. So yeah, somebody has changed. Somebody can no longer be triggered. The stuff that, yeah, somebody or some people possibly, you know, uh, could have used against somebody in the past. They can no longer use it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Something about, yeah, what somebody done, because this is the past card that could get somebody locked up, or that's the reason why somebody is locked up or going to get locked up as far as, like, a mask and energy. But I really feel like that, yeah, somebody that, you know, was attacking somebody uh, in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion that they were attacking somebody, yeah, they could get locked up. This is either, yeah, in jail or prison or in some type of mental uh, facility for sure. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, a spiritual platform. Because with this platform card and this priest, is giving me, like, yeah, a spiritual platform. Yeah. Once somebody is, is locked up or once somebody is put where they're supposed to be, yeah. That's when the beef ends or something like that. Or that's when something, yeah, is complete. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's something about, yeah, somebody's transformation. Somebody's transformation is amazing. Wow. But somebody definitely is trying to end, you know what I'm saying, the way that somebody looks or the way that, yeah, people are are looking at somebody or that's literally what somebody has already done. And that's over because we heard what the angel number 919 says. Yeah, somebody's, uh, somebody's feeling like shit. This is somebody that, yeah, possibly, yeah, was getting readings. So, yes, whoever it is that, and that's and that's another reason why I was divinely guided to stop doing uh, private messages because people, yeah, are posing as other people to see, you know, what I'm saying to basically meddle. And so, yeah, I feel like that whoever those people that were getting readings, that yeah, their their uh, motives were off as far as why they were getting readings. Yeah, they're in this feeling like shit energy. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody needs to know that they're light. Uh, irritates uh, a lot of people's demons so yeah you're not their cup of tea so with that being said it goes back to me yeah ir irritating people demons that's how I know who I am and how they're not and who they're not mm -hmm. yeah somebody's hooked on somebody or something about yeah somebody being hooked on the past mm-hmm 
there definitely could be somebody that yeah could watch somebody's uh, social media and they're hooked water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio something about yeah hooked on water we already talked about that what is water meth so somebody's hooked on some type of drug it could be a priest Oh, PCP. So somebody could be hooked on PCP. It's a hallucinogenic drug notorious for inducing violence and erratic behavior. Stands at the center of this dangerous trend. There could be, yeah, somebody that, um, something about, yeah, like a church. So somebody could go, you know what I'm saying, to like a church and they're hooked. You know what I mean? Or something about, yeah, somebody possibly um, coming to somebody and basically, yeah, like telling them that they're hooked or something about somebody or some people saying somebody, you know what I'm saying, like spaz out because they're hooked on PCP. And so, yeah, somebody could end up locked up or somebody could already be locked up because, yeah, they're done spazzed out or something like that or somebody's going to find out because going back to the August 1st, something about August 1st. I feel like whatever information it is that somebody receives, somebody definitely needs to keep it to themselves. Mm -hmm. We got the memories card, but it came out in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody's memories could be wiped away. So maybe, yeah, the drug causes some memories to be wiped away. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, forgetting the past. Or forgetting the pa bad parts. Somebody, yeah, could freak out because some type of... Somebody could take some pictures of them or from them. Because y'all see how this person is looking at those photos. But it's in the reverse. So it's kind of like, yeah can't look at some photos or or some or they or you know some 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 pictures could be taken from somebody somebody definitely yeah could be locked up or the fact of the matter is it's kind of like yeah some drugs is doing something to somebody's memory or something like that wow why is the divine masculine here or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is trying to figure out how to wipe away some, some good memories, you know what I'm saying? Or trying to wipe away, you know, the way that people look at somebody in a certain way. We got twin flames, so somebody's twin flame. This divine masculine could be somebody's twin flame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about some bad memories. I feel like that, yeah, somebody um, is about to receive some information, you know what I mean? And it could be, you know, from like a high priest or a high priestess. And I feel like, yeah, somebody um, needs to keep it to themselves. But I feel like it's like physical information, but it's also too like um, spiritual information as well. Mm hmm so somebody else yeah, could either be coming in contact with their twin flame or they could be, you know, reuniting with their twin flame because some people know who their twin flame is. So it goes back to the energy that I was picking up as far as the real love energy. Why is the travel in the reverse? Mm -hmm. We got talking shit. So somebody, somebody, uh, yeah, whoever this person is, this, this, this person, this strategizing, planning, and plotting person, let's just call him a karmic so we won't get it confused. Yeah, this is the person that's like, yeah, um, that divine feminine, divine masculine, yeah, they're, they're my hater, you know what I mean? I got a, I got a whole lot of haters and woo woo yada yada, but this person ain't doing enough to have haters, you know what I'm saying? This person ain't doing nothing right to have haters. It's a difference between people speaking some truth. So, yeah, 
people pro probably are seeing this person mess up every chance that this person gets. And so, yeah, people are talking about how this person is messing up. It don't mean that they're haters. You got to be doing something right for people to want to hate on you. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, it's kind of like what I'm picking up is, yeah, there could be somebody's twin flame, you know what I mean, that possibly was talking shit about them with this person or just talking shit, period. So it goes back to, yeah, the energy that I was picking up as far as, yeah, somebody's trying to talk about somebody's mental health or trying to use somebody's kids or, you know what I'm saying, whatever somebody was trying to do, you know what I mean, to trigger somebody or, you know, I felt like, yeah, somebody also was trying to get some type of response. Mm -hmm. there's somebody that yeah is hooked on PCP or hooked on some type of drugs because we got this bad habit that bad habits card so mm -hmm. I hope it ain't somebody's twin flame I mean we got a divine masculine with twin flame so with that being said it's a it is it's a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine out here the karmic feminine is the one you know what I mean that's hollering about they got all these haters but they ain't got one they're everybody else's haters. And then we got a, a karmic masculine that, yeah, they're they're hooked. But I feel like the, yeah, it was a group effort. So something about, yeah, I don't really want to keep, because I don't, I don't, yeah. Maybe we'll find out if this twin flame was talking shit about their own twin flame. But I feel like it was a, it was a group, it was a group. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Several people. Mm-hmm. They definitely could have been talking about how somebody, you know what I mean, could have been on drugs or have some type of addictions. Or it goes back to, yeah, toxicities. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's mental health, It to me, it, it's not considered as being toxic because, you know what I mean, you just, you can't help mental health. But that's literally, yeah, what people, how people possibly try to judge somebody that has a mental health issue. They're toxic. You know what I mean? So whoever that is, they're ignorant anyway. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to get ready, get ready, get ready. Because I feel like, the, yeah, there is some piping hot tea that's about to be brought to them. Um, yeah, somebody's about to receive the inside scoop. But there's also, yeah, that somebody that's hooked on being all up in somebody's business. There definitely could be multiple people that could be hooked at being up in somebody's business. So it goes back to, yeah... Somebody, fair, you know, telling people farewell. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be receiving some type of an offer. And it could be from a divine masculine or divine feminine. It could be, yeah, twin flame. Wow, this memories in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got heartbreak in the reverse. Somebody's also, yeah, trying to get all up in somebody's business to see, you know, what they can use. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, the stuff that they could use used to use, it don't work. So they're trying to figure out, you know, how what they can use now, you know what I'm saying, since somebody has gone through this transformation. Which Whoever this person is or these people are, they're idiots. Because it's kind of like, yeah, they're karmics. And karmics are doing what karmics do. Karmicking. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody healing. So somebody, yeah, needs to continue to heal. But I feel like uh, there is something that's about to take place uh, for somebody's ultimate healing. It's a part of, yeah, some type of new path on uh, somebody's spiritual journey. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm also picking up, too, whatever this um, information is that comes from, you know what I'm saying, a trusted person, you know what I mean, uh, somebody that is, you know, uh, divinely guided by the Most High. I feel like it's going to help, you know what I'm saying, somebody, yeah, so it's, that's a part of somebody's ultimate healing. Why are there twin flames here? We got fake news. Mm-hmm. So somebody done lied. 
Somebody done lied about a pregnancy or somebody done lied about some type of DNA test. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, uh, whoever this karmic feminine is, or it could be a karmic masculine, or it could be both, or it could be a group of people. Yeah, those people are talking shit about, you know what I'm saying, a divine feminine, divine masculine. The fact of the matter is, yeah, they're a divine feminine, divine masculine's haters. But somebody definitely could be pregnant. Mm-hmm. Pregnant and talking shit. So this so whoever this person is, they pregnant and they you know what I'm saying, because it says fake news, either they're lying or yeah, they don't know who the father of their child is. Or this could be, yeah, like a masculine energy. And you know, they, they think that they got somebody pregnant. They just don't know. It could be them and, and three other people. You know what I mean? The same person or people that are talking shit are the same person or people that yeah, they, they have they're addicted, they're hooked to, to drugs, you know what I'm saying, some type of addictions, you know, they're toxic. Mm-hmm. Talking shit. Yep. Look. Psycho. Crazy X. Obsessed. Won't let go. Yeah. So not only does this person have uh, uh, mental health issues or psychological issues or whatever you want to call them issues, they also, yeah, do drugs. Wow. So whoever this person is, I feel like that, yeah, they've already been let go. But they're still lingering. They've already been told to get on before they get spit on. And I guess this person wants to get spit on. They just don't know it's spiritual spit. So it's not the same spit. You, Yeah, this spit that somebody's about to get, you can't just wipe it off. You know what I mean? Wow. Why is this bad habit here? Yeah, love story. So whoever this psycho is, I feel like that, um, and this could be like somebody that somebody had a private relationship with. So somebody don't even know, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, somebody had a relationship with this person. I feel like, yeah, it's a karmic masculine. It can't be a divine masculine. I ain't going to, because we got the twin flames here. So yeah, it's a karmic masculine or a karmic feminine. But yeah, they basically, yeah want some type of future they they yeah they sit around and daydream about some type of future that yeah basically they've already deemed as over you know what i'm saying based off of their actions and their decisions and they're mad because yeah somebody's going towards their future somebody's somebody yeah, is building a future for themselves you know what i mean possibly yeah about to you know come in contact with their twin flame or or, or you know what i mean the plan is to go towards their twin flame so somebody, yeah, wants a, some type of love story that doesn't belong to them is what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. Or somebody, yeah, wants a love story or, you know what I'm saying, they want real love, but they don't want to put in the work or they, you know what I'm saying, yeah, at this, they feel they, they feel like that they deserve more, you know what I'm saying, than, um, than, than what they do deserve, you know what I mean? This is a karmic, so they aren't a match with a divine masculine or a divine feminine. So yeah, we got karma at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, that that this it ain't gonna be physical spit. It's 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 spiritual spit. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got a Scorpio. So you could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart, or there's a Scorpio involved. And there's something about an investigation. So there definitely could be an investigation that could take place. Mm -hmm. But I'm also picking up too with something about, yeah, it, somebody can't even remember what they said yesterday or literally an hour ago, less knowing something that could have happened, you know, a year ago, three years ago, six years ago. There definitely was people that lied and said that, yeah, a divine feminine, divine masculine was hooked on drugs heavily. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, get ready, get ready, get ready, because I feel like you're getting ready to find out some information. Yep. Somebody somebody was convinced to lie about a, 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 a child. So going back to this pregnancy, this DNA. 
So yeah, if somebody has a child, somebody was all up in somebody's business and found out that they have a child or some children. And so yeah, they basically lied about a child or ch or some children. Mm -hmm. But I'm also picking up too. Yeah, it's kind of like forgive and forget. So the stuff, you know what I'm saying, that could have taken place between between two twin flames that they've already came in contact. I feel like, yeah, it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, like erased or something like that. Or yeah, forgiven and forgotten about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we got real divine counterpart at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, real divine counterpart, twin flames, real divine counterpart. So, mm -hmm, divine intervention. I'm also picking up too because, yeah, like a real divine counterpart is different than a twin flame. So, yeah. So, somebody possibly, yeah, could have, could choose, uh, have a choice between uh, their real divine counterpart and their twin flame. But I feel like that's what this piping hot tea is. So, it's either, yeah, somebody's about to receive some information about their real divine counterpart, or it's, uh, you know, some piping hot tea about their um, twin flame. I feel like either way it goes, somebody is, yeah, being told to forgive and forget because either way it goes, yeah, somebody still has that real love there. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's literally going to find out who the, re who the real one is. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, if there's a twin flame, you know what I'm saying, that was involved with the talking, talking ish and things of that nature, then of course, yeah, that, that, that person is out. So then here comes, yeah, the, the real divine counterpart, the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Because, yeah, everybody doesn't have a twin flame. You know what I mean? Everybody isn't on a twin flame journey. And normally twin flames don't come together in relationships. You know what I mean? They're usually there to teach each other what, what they need to know. And, yeah, move on. Mm-hmm. We got a Leo Cancer Cusper, so there's a Leo Cancer Cusper involved. You could be a Leo Cancer Cusper. Mm -hmm. We got a Toxic Masculine, so yeah, there's a Toxic Masculine out here. Whoever this Toxic Masculine energy is, they could be a Leo uh, Cancer Cusper. There's a Toxic Masculine that definitely, yeah... Uh, Got in between, you know what I mean? Um, two people. Possibly, yeah, a, a toxic feminine as well. But it's kind of too, like, yeah. Who, if this toxic masculine was convinced to lie about a child or something like that, they're scared shitless. Um, there's a lot of people that are scared shitless. It's also, too, something about, yeah, um... People were talking shit about whoever this psycho is, and they're, yeah, they're possibly going psycho on everybody. Or it's kind of like, you know, the, the people that were talking shit about a divine feminine, divine masculine, it's kind of like now they're they're dealing with karma, or they're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, uh, a, a whole lot of, whole lot of, you know? Somebody definitely, yeah, could be losing their minds, and there could be people around this person that is scared shitless. Mm-hmm. Wow. But it's also too, yeah, there's somebody or some people that are scared shitless because they feel like the yeah, there's a divine feminine and divine masculine that's not gonna respect them once a divine feminine and divine masculine finds out, you know what I'm saying, some stuff. Somebody done set somebody up. There's a toxic masculine that done set somebody up. Somebody, yeah, definitely um Whoever this uh, psycho is, they definitely, yeah, going back to, yeah, whoever it is running their mouth. Yeah, I got haters. I got this. Yeah, to the point to where they done incriminated themselves and possibly, yeah, other people. So it goes, so, but I feel like that whoever these people are, they, yeah, they, they um, were attacking whoever, you know, this message is for in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And so, yeah, it's kind of like once something takes place. Everything ends or something like that. Yeah, and something about uh, whoever this is that, that was set up. 
It's a masculine energy. They, yeah, it's because of their weaknesses. So whatever this masculine's weaknesses are, yeah, that's how this person got set up. Mm -hmm. We got a reading. So we did see that um, getting readings card. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if somebody, yeah, has a spiritual channel, there is somebody that, yep, is lurking on their channel. This is somebody that, yeah, they use um, fake profiles, you know what I mean, to, to, to get uh, private messages, you know what I mean? Uh, but if you're like me, you don't do private messages. And so, yeah, they're just lurking on your channel, you know what I'm saying, to disrupt your energy of the channel, you know what I'm saying, J to disrupt the flow of the channel. And basically, yeah, so that their information could come out. They're stupid enough to keep lurking, so that's literally what comes out is their energy, you know what I mean, in the cards. Mm hmm but there definitely could be somebody that could be looking for somebody wow why is this reading here but it's also too yeah um Somebody, if if it wasn't that somebody or some people, you know, were requesting private messages and things, you know, from you, if you have a spiritual uh, platform, yeah, they were doing it to other people. And so, yeah, they, they went in and, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like that, yeah, they possibly came across uh, somebody, you know what I'm saying, that knows exactly what they're talking about, you know, so they came against a divine reader, not a karmic. And so, yeah, somebody definitely could have read this person their rights. And so that could possibly make this person, yeah, go a little bit psycho. Is also what I'm picking up. Or something about, yeah, just reading this person's rights as far as like the past and woo the woo yada yada. So yeah, continue to embrace your worth. So it goes back to, yeah, people, you know what I mean, uh, attacking and, you know what I'm saying, trying to basically, yeah, use words to, to lower somebody's self-esteem or to make somebody feel like that they're not doing, you know, what they're supposed to be doing and woo the woo yada yada. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have could have heard some type of reading or some type of message, you know what I'm saying? Some type of spiritual message. And yeah, it, it, it done scared somebody shitless because basically, yeah, the truth, somebody told the truth. So going back to not uh, somebody's cup of tea. So it's something about, yeah, somebody not supposed to be having some piping hot tea that they have. And somebody, yeah, done spoke on it. But it's because them car mix is all up in divine energy. You know what I mean? So as long as they keep lurking, their energy is going to come out. So they're going to be exposed. So if they don't want to be exposed, then don't lurk in divine energy. Go over there to the karmics. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that every spiritual messenger or reader or whatever is karmic. What I'm saying is the karmic readers, they're not going to pick up karmic energy because that's what they embody. You know what I'm saying? Not every spiritual reader, every spiritual messenger, every tarot card reader is a divine. So those of you that think so, yeah, you got a long, you possibly don't even need to, you know what I'm saying, engage in tarot and spiritual messages and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Leo Cancer Cusper. Yep, look. Psychic. So whoever this, uh, so this psychic could be a Leo Cancer Cusper. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody, mm, 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 mm. yeah, somebody definitely could have read another, yeah, so going back to, yeah, karmic versus divine, somebody definitely could have read, yeah, a psychic to filth, and now they're avoiding somebody. Mm-hmm. There's also, yeah, um, like a tarot card reader or a psychic or something like that that's a mask on energy. They, yeah, they, they know, they know what they're talking about. So their name could be Max or Lee or something like that. Or their first, middle, last name could start with an L, a C, or an H. But there's also, there's a psychic that it's, that's avoiding somebody. So there's a psychic. So somebody has some type of uh, some type of platform. This could be a spiritual platform. Yeah, there's a, there's a psychic that's avoiding. Because, yeah, they're a karmic. Mm -hmm. People are scared shitless. So, wow, people are trying to figure out, yeah, somebody's success secrets. So it goes back to, yeah, people trying to cloak and hide themselves, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
as you know like somebody we're for somebody or whatever the situation is yeah somebody could be trying to cloak and hide themselves like that you know what i'm saying they're divine just like you know what i'm saying uh whoever you know this message is for but they're not they're karmic Mm-hmm. Why is this uh set them up here? We got arrest warning warning. So somebody definitely, yeah, could receive some type of arrest warning or warning or something about yeah, when somebody got a reading or when somebody, you know what I'm saying, uh listen to, you know, a message or something like that. Yeah, somebody heard exactly what was going to take place and it happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this uh, psychic is, it, they have some type of hidden rivalry with somebody. And now they're trapped. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, taking some action now with the, with the FBI. So, I don't know. The F to the B to the I definitely could be involved. Wow. Why is this psychic here? We got bragging, so there it goes. I got haters. Woo the woo yada yada, you know. We just got him set up last week. And woo the woo yada yada. Yeah, they were bragging. Nah, there's a karmic feminine out here bragging, a toxic masculine bragging. Yep. And whoever, yeah, they possibly were black bragging because they thought that, yeah, somebody was going to be unemployed or jobless by now. So they, they, they possibly thought that, yeah, somebody wasn't going to have a social media platform. But at the end of the day, these whoever these people are that think that they know somebody, you know what I mean, but they really don't. Yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, could lose a social media platform and they possibly have, yeah, two jobs outside of the social media platform. So they're still employed and they still have a couple of jobs. So, like, whoever these people are, they have nothing to do. They're sad, miserable, depressed. And, yeah, unemployed and jobless. But yep, it's about a choice. It's about a choice. And so, whoever these people are, you know what I'm saying, while they was playing with social media, playing, you know what I'm saying, yeah, now they got the F to the B to the I on their ass. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody basically exposed themselves because of them bragging. So, yeah. There is a definitely a swift change that's definitely getting ready to take place. So I feel like the yeah, somebody needs to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah, karmic soulmate when I split the deck. So yeah, somebody's karmic soulmate. And it's something about, yeah, bragging to prisoners. So somebody definitely could be locked up. I mean, I don't know if people can, that are locked up can, you know what I'm saying, uh, like get readings or something like that. But if that's the case, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could have gotten some type of reading or, you know, if they can watch social media. But, wow. But, yeah, somebody definitely could be locked up or this could be spiritual jail. Either way it goes, yeah, somebody's stuck. Mm-hmm. Divine intervention is at play, and yeah. This person or these people, they basically, yeah, underestimated somebody's abilities. Mm -hmm. They underestimated somebody's power. So these people thought that, yeah, and I'm just using the mental health situation um, because there's mental health out here. Yeah, these people thought just because somebody doesn't, uh, just because somebody has a mental health issue that they can't be chosen or, you know what I'm saying, that they can't be called or, you know what I'm saying, whatever these people thought. Well, they got to be a karmic. They can't be a divine masculine or a divine feminine and they have mental issues. <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is, it goes back to um, uh, the, the Bible verse that I read the other day as far as um, basically, yeah, Jesus saying that, yeah, he's not here for, you know what I'm saying, the, the, um, the ones that's not sick. He's here for the ones that's sick, you know what I mean? The ones that's not sick, evidently they don't need, you know what I'm saying, no healing. Or they don't need, you know what I'm saying, a deliverance. Or they don't need a word or whatever the situation is, you know. And when they do get sick or when they do, you know what I'm saying, need something, yeah, they know what to do. But, yeah, so it's kind of like people, you know, think that, you know, people that have certain issues, certain characteristics, because that's not them. 
You know what I mean? That they, you know what I mean, can't be uh, leaders of the most high. Or they can't, you know, live certain type of lifestyles because, you know, of certain things. But that's not true. You know, somebody could have mental health issues, but they could be celibate or abstinent. You know what I mean? They're on their spiritual journey, you know. They're trying to do, you know, the right things, even though they can't do everything right, you know. Um, they they try to do, yeah, everything, you know, with, with a loving heart, you know what I mean. Uh, they try to make love, not war, you know. A lot of things that, yeah, divine beings should do. And so, yeah, what's the problem? So somebody definitely could be making a statement. Mm-hmm. And this in making a statement means expressing an idea or a mood without using words. So it's something about, yeah, the way that somebody moves, but I'm also picking up I'm also picking up too. It's something about um yeah. Somebody, yeah, this is giving me like subliminal. So somebody, yeah, could be, you know, uh making subliminal comments or you know what I'm saying posting subliminal messages so so somebody's not saying somebody's name or you know what I mean they're not saying exactly what's going on but it's but basically yeah it's it's enough information for somebody to respond or for somebody to react without people really knowing who they're talking about or woo yada yada and maybe that's what how people feel about you know what I'm saying uh the one that has the spiritual platform that knows what they're talking about but it's not the case you know what I mean? So yeah, somebody lurking up in somebody's on somebody's channel, lurking up in somebody's divine energy, and now yeah, they they feel guilty because somebody then read them, read basically read them. You know what I'm saying? So somebody wanted to play with it. You know what I mean? Somebody didn't believe. You know what I mean? And so yes, yeah, somebody now knows that it's real. It, it, they can't just read, you know what I'm saying? They can't just feel energy and, and tell what's going on. There is no way and yada yada and baze baze. And so, yeah, I feel like that um, somebody or people are basically, yeah, realizing that there is a way. Yep. So just know that people are um, uh, sending the evil eye for sure. Somebody could also find out something about their father because I did pick up on water sign energy. So and I picked up on father. So something about somebody's father. So somebody could find out that their father is on drugs or um, yeah, or it could just be multiple family members or they baby mama um you know what i mean or they baby daddy or something like that but yeah family secrets are too much to handle i'm also picking up too going back to that priest energy like that priest could be like yeah somebody's somebody's father somebody's uncle somebody's grandfather you know what i mean and it's something about yeah that person could be hooked on drugs or you know what i'm saying hooked on you know uh addictions you know this could be like um you know that pastor priest or whoever yeah they could have some type of sex addiction or you know what i mean they could be hooked on drugs or something toxic about that person so that person you, you know what i'm saying they they to to people they look yeah loving and like that you know what i mean they're here to do god's work but behind the scenes they yeah they're doing the devil's work so be aware Mhm. Mm so there are some family secrets that's too much for somebody to handle the fact of the matter is that could be that t you know what I'm saying? That somebody possibly uh, found out about on August the 1st. That somebody else is possibly going to find out about. Yeah, we got police reports. So something about a police report. So whatever this, poli uh, whatever this police report is, I feel like it has something to do with somebody being locked up. But it also could be, yeah, some type of false police report. Mm -hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody um, exhibiting dramatic behavior, drawing attention to themselves. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody spazzing out. So somebody could find out, yeah, that somebody in their family or somebody that, yeah, was 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 um, was targeting them, them, targeting them or, you know, what I'm saying trying to attack them in whatever way, shape, form or fashion. Yeah, they could find out that, yeah, somebody's locked up or, you know, what I mean. But yeah, somebody's good deeds are being noticed. Mm -hmm. So somebody definitely needs to know that their good deeds are being noticed. And somebody definitely, yeah, could be about to receive some type of spiritual badge of honor. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody's also, yeah. So that piping tea could definitely be some information about some type of criminal case as well. But it goes back to, yeah, somebody bragging on social media, somebody running their mouth, you know? Yeah, basically, yeah. Exposes a whole lot of stuff that people weren't supposed to know about. So that was piping tea that was not for people. So it goes back to, yeah, not everybody's cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Yep. So a person's actions speak the truth. So I feel like um somebody yeah, definitely could be acting erratic or you know what I'm saying? It's something about actions because we done seen two cars that said something about actions. So somebody's actions is speaking louder, you know what I'm saying, than any word. Mm-hmm. And yeah, somebody's actions is basically basically, yeah, uh showing that yeah, some stuff is true. We got a cancer, so you could be a cancer or have cancer in your chart, or there's a cancer involved. We did pick up on that Leo cancer cusper. So heavy, a heavy cancer energy. So there could be a cancer. Their actions are speaking some type of truth. Mm-hmm. But there is a new cycle that is beginning. And so, yeah, we did hear that in the angel number 919. Wow. Yeah, something about, um, yeah, people definitely could be sending somebody the evil eye because they feel like that somebody could be exposing a lot of people. But the fact of the matter is, again, it goes back to energy. Stay out of people's energy and you won't feel, you know what I'm saying? You won't feel guilty, but that's just somebody's guilty conscience. Mm -hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody basically, yeah, bragging, you know, basically exposing a lot of people is going to cause, yeah, somebody's new cycle to, to begin. Why is this family secrets here? Mm-hmm. We got an empath. So yeah, somebody somebody's an empath. Somebody yeah, people don't know what somebody is, but I feel like yeah, somebody could literally have many titles. Somebody could be an empath. Somebody could be a psychic. You know what I mean? Cause they all hold, you know what I'm saying, their old their own, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, their own let me not use power but like you know what I'm saying a psychic and an empath are kind of the same but they're not you know a psychic has many layers to it I mean the empath does as well Mhm. Mm but it's kind of too like yeah people are trying to blame an empath or a psychic you know what I mean on you know what their actions are are, are, are speaking <laughs> wow. And because, yeah, there's a psychic out here or empath or whatever they want to call them, uh, call themselves that's over-promising and under-delivering. It's, it's causing disappointment for themselves and it's causing uh, disappointment amongst people. Amongst their, you know what I'm saying, the people that are watching them or whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Wow. Whoever this person is, yeah, they're a drama queen or a drama king. But it goes back to, yeah, it's people, you know what I'm saying, talking behind somebody's back about, you know what I'm saying, stuff. So, yeah, people definitely could have said that, yeah, somebody's a drama queen or a drama king. They always, you know, um, starting drama or whatever. But the fact of the matter is that ain't true. Yeah, people that don't know you think that they do know you. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I feel like it's based off of what other people have said. So it could be, yeah, there's a cancer that's a drama queen or a drama king. You know what I'm saying? That could be, yeah, spreading, uh, you know, misinformation about somebody. Mm-hmm. Yep. So continue to be grateful for the small things because, yeah, somebody's definitely about to be blessed with something big. I feel like, yeah, some, somebody's already been being blessed with something big, but somebody definitely is about to be blessed with something real big. And it's something about, yeah, real love. So this could be, yeah, like, you know, somebody coming in contact with their soul tribe. So there is some type of spiritual verdict that could be in for somebody. It could be whoever this empath is, or it could be uh, the psychic that could, that's avoiding somebody. 
yeah, whoever this person is, they got dark thoughts. They use dark wor dark words, and yeah, they have dark energy. Mm -hmm. This is probably the person, because I remember for the last, I don't know how many messages, I kept saying that somebody got cancer. This is somebody that got cancer. So this is an empath or a psychic that got a, 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 a social media platform. I was getting ready to say YouTube. So this definitely could be somebody that could be on YouTube. Yeah, they, they mad because they got cancer. Or they mad that all this stuff is going on with them. So they're call, yeah trying to cause everybody else drama. That's for somebody. You know what I'm saying? They could literally be, you know what I'm saying, who's lurking on this channel. But the, the, the message, it definitely has something to do, yeah, with whoever, you know, those people are to whoever, you know, is resonating with this message. Mm -hmm. but somebody definitely needs to get ready get ready because I do feel like that there is somebody a drama queen or a drama king that's about to put on some type of show because some type of new cycle is beginning because mm -hmm. whoever this is they possibly are going to get fired from a job for some type of illegal or criminal activity but somebody is getting fired. It could be an empath, you know what I mean, or a psychic, or the fact of the matter is, yeah, these people were trying to get, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a divine being to be fired from their job, saying that, yeah, a divine being was doing illegal or criminal activity. But I feel like somebody is about to get fired. We saw unemployed and jobless. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, uh, somebody's family, well, the people, yeah, that, that, possibly are you know what I'm saying somewhat close to somebody like somebody's family or friends if they don't know that somebody's an empath or a psychic they're about to find out mm-hmm yep and it's kind of too like yeah if somebody got fired from a job you know what I'm saying and and yeah it was it was somebody and it was due to other people lying. Yeah, somebody's definitely about to be blessed with 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 something bigger. You know what I mean? But but justice is definitely going to be served. But it's something about yeah, somebody being fired from their job for doing a legal or criminal activity. And so whoever this person is, yeah, somebody definitely needs to remember that they already showed you who they are. And I feel like it could be whoever this cancer is. Remember that this cancer has already showed you who they were, or who or these people, karmic masculine, karmic feminine, whoever they are. Yeah, somebody's all up in their feelings and they are a drama queen or a drama king. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, somebody somebody's high vibing energy is a repellent. So some so yeah, somebody's demons are definitely, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's light is definitely irritating some people's demons. Yeah, somebody's energy is like a karmic be gone. It's kind of like raid, you know what I'm saying? Karmic raid. Somebody's energy is. Mm -hmm. What else, Holy Spirit? There's somebody that definitely could be afraid to make some type of decision. So with that being said, I feel like that that could be the person that could be trying to act like that. Yeah, they're somebody's friend or you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they care about somebody and they love somebody just because they want some help. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. There's also somebody that, yeah, definitely could be trying to act innocent because they're trying to deny their involvement uh, in some stuff. But it doesn't matter because, yeah, somebody that already, already, you know, opened their big mouth bragging. And so whoever this person is, yeah, they're involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Somebody's also, yeah, scared to make some type of decision because, yeah, they don't want people to know that they were involved in some stuff. But it don't matter because people are still going to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody done defeated a narcissist. Point blank in the sentence ends a period. Yep. Either somebody has already snapped, but that's that energy that we picked up on, or yeah, um, somebody is about to snap. But I feel like that whoever this narcissist is, yeah, they they are having a mental breakdown because they've been defeated. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah, they're on decline. Their finances are, their health, their career, their relationships. So, yeah, but this literally could be, yeah, like an empath or we saw that priest energy. Um, we saw the psychic, so this could be, yeah. There's a wealthy woman that's involved or something about, yeah, somebody's about to become a wealthy woman. Um, or, yeah, somebody thought... Somebody definitely could have been a wealthy woman and now, yeah, they're no longer a wealthy woman or something like that. But it's something about, yeah, somebody possibly could be about to become a wealthy woman or a wealthy man if they aren't already. But there definitely could be a wealthy woman involved. This wealthy woman could be afraid to make some type of decision. Yep, somebody or some people are intimidated by, yeah, somebody's ambitious attitude. I know, I hope it ain't no wealthy woman. Because, I mean, if if, if if it's a wealthy woman, then, then how did they get their wealth? Evidently, they're crooked. So, go, yeah. So, that could be the person that's getting fired from the job for illegal uh, or criminal activity. That literally, yeah, could be the person that could be, yeah, going through some type of mental breakdown. Yeah, we got a sister. So there's a sister involved. So there could be a sister that could be afraid to make a decision or somebody's afraid to make a decision when it comes to uh, their sister. Somebody, somebody's sister could have some type of mental breakdown because their 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 life is on the decline. Mm -hmm, there goes that water sign. So yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Cancer energy, Scor heavy Scorpio energy. Mm-hmm. So somebody's sister could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or, um, yeah, this sister is the sister of a Cancer. Mm -hmm. Wow. We got bad accident. So somebody's sister could get in a bad accident. Or somebody could, yeah, hear about some type of bad accident. So there could be a water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that could be uh, get into a bad accident. Or yeah, there's a narcissist that could be, yeah, that could be in this snapped energy that could get into a bad accident. So going back to, yeah, the police report. Mm -mm. So I feel like, yeah, these family secrets, I feel like, yeah, there is some information about a police report is going to... Um, is going to uh, come out or somebody's going to find out some information on a police report or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, yeah, it's going to be more than just one person that, that finds this out because it's kind of like, yeah. It says family secrets are too much to handle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody aided or assisted in a criminal or spiritual crime. So that's another reason why, yeah, somebody's having this mental breakdown while somebody's in this snap energy. This is the person that was trying to act innocent. They were trying to deny their involvement. Either somebody has already, yeah, had some type of mental breakdown or they're going to. And it's something about, yeah, a bad accident. So somebody, yeah, could have been, could have aided or assisted in some type of criminal activity when it comes to some type of bad accident. So, yeah, somebody needs to know that, yeah, rejection is your protection. Mm -hmm. So somebody definitely needs to be rejected. And, it, and it's a cancer or, it's, or somebody all up in their feelings, a drama queen or a drama king. Mm hmm. But there's also somebody that definitely is bowing out. So with that being said, because somebody possibly, yeah, is already in that rejection energy, protecting themselves. Yeah, somebody or some people definitely could be bowing out. So it goes back to, yeah, people, yeah, they don't want no more smoke. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no war. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But they're also bowing out because, yeah, dark spirits are surrounding them. If somebody's sister, you know what I'm saying, uh, tried to attack 
them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, dark spirits are surrounding somebody's sister. Uh, this cancer, whoever this empath is, or the psychic, this narcissist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody, there was a crime that was committed out of passion. So, um, yeah, there is an investigation. So, that's... So, it could be... Yeah. So, whatever that crime is, somebody's trying to act innocent like that they uh, weren't involved. But the fact, but the fact of the matter is, how are you trying to act innocent? But at the same time, you on social media running your mouth about the same crime. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody's cycle, new cycle is beginning because, yeah, of somebody that basically exposes many people. Mm hmm. We got unwelcome uh, visitor pop up, so um, somebody definitely needs to be aware because somebody definitely could uh, pop up, and they possibly could could reveal, or they could be coming to reveal. You know what I'm saying? Some family secrets that's too much for them to handle. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about, yeah, somebody lying for attention. So, yeah, somebody or some people have been caught. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody or some people definitely do know that uh, when somebody makes a promise, they keep it. With this, your word is your bond. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, somebody, you know, popping up on somebody, uh... To possibly, yeah, see if, uh, yeah, somebody's standing on what they say. Because, it's cause, yeah, a person's actions speak the truth. Mm. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody definitely could be popping up on somebody, you know, to keep their word. So, it's something about, yeah, somebody possibly said that they were going to do something and they're going to do it. This could have something to do with the blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got put a fork in and it's done on top of bowing out. So, yeah, people are done. People are done. But I feel like, yeah, somebody keeping their word or somebody standing on, you know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah, saying it, meaning it, and representing it. Yeah, that's why stuff is ending. Or that's why, yeah, somebody's about to start some type of new cycle. Somebody definitely could be moving to a new city, state, or country. Mm-hmm. Somebody's sister could be moving to a new city, state, or country. Uh, whoever's involved could be moving to a new city, state, or country. That could be an empath, a, 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 a psychic. They could be moving to a, a new city, state, or country. So there is something that's uh, so, there's somebody that's willing to sacrifice everything to make it right with somebody, and so I feel like that yeah, it could either be yeah somebody's real divine counterpart or a twin flame. Mm hmm. But it's also yeah the same that there whoever this person is, they possibly yeah is going to pop up on somebody or something like that. They're stuck in the mud. So I feel like that yeah, that's the one that wants some advice or that's the one that wants some help. It definitely could have something to do with a karmic soulmate. So we did pick up on that karmic soulmate energy. So there's a karmic soulmate that's, that's stuck in the mud. So somebody definitely needs to be aware because I feel like whoever this karmic soulmate is, yeah, they're possibly wanting to pop up on somebody. And then we have, yeah, fraudulent bank account in your name. So yeah, somebody could find out that, yeah, there's a fraudulent bank account in their name. This could be a cancer. Or there could be a karmic soulmate that has, yeah, a fraudulent bank account in somebody's name. Yeah, buddy. Somebody definitely, yeah, forged forged uh, somebody's signature on multiple documents. And so, yeah, somebody's being caught with a pen in their hand. And it's something about, yeah, somebody um, doing this in, a, in, in, a, in another city or state or even another country. 
So somebody, yeah, forged somebody's name on some type of bank account. So somebody's going to find that out about, uh, find that out as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we got a quack doctor. So there's a quack doctor involved. So somebody definitely could afford. So yeah, there's a there could be a quack doctor that yeah forge uh some signature a signature. So I feel like the yeah. Somebody yeah, there definitely could have been people that yeah were trying to get somebody you know what I'm saying locked up in a mental health facility because of uh, their mental or something like that. But I feel like yeah, what people were saying didn't match up with somebody's actions. Mhm. Mm but it's kind of too like yeah, there's a quack doctor. That uh, that yeah is trying to make it right, or there's a quack doctor that yeah they um they either forged some signatures or they just made up false documents. You know what I'm saying to make it look like that it 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 something didn't happen the way it it did, or you know what I mean to help to you know what I'm saying so that somebody wouldn't uh be looked at as guilty or something like that. But yeah, somebody or some people, they done mastered the art of storytelling, especially this quack doctor. Especially whoever this person is is stuck in the mud. Whoever this um, person is is popping up on somebody, yeah, they're, they're possibly, yeah, either master the art of storytelling or they basically, yeah, coming in to tell a story. So I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to get ready, get ready, get ready. This could be, yes, yeah, the mother of somebody's child or children. But it's also, too, going back to, yeah, the person that was bragging, you know what I'm saying, on social media. Yeah, that that is the person that mastered the art of storytelling. Mm-hmm. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit? It says, people with high integrity and honesty are quiet achievers. So, yeah, I feel like that that's, you know what I'm saying, whoever this message is for, you have high integrity and honesty. And so, yeah, you're a quiet achiever. People are all up in their feelings about it because they're trying to paint you to be a drama queen or a drama king, but you're not. And so, yeah, there definitely could be some type of heated discussion that leads to some type of family feud or there's going to be. Mm -hmm. But there is some type of wealthy woman that's involved because that's what's at the bottom of the deck. Somebody definitely could have used some type of pictures and videos to destroy your character. And yeah, they're in big, big, big trouble. So going back to, yeah, when I was talking about some type of pictures, somebody can't see pictures or something about, yeah, some, some pictures. So, yeah. So, yeah, people are in big, 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 big trouble. And yes, envy is a, is a toxic trait. So there are people, um, yeah, that, that are envious and jealous. There definitely could have been people that, yeah, were trying to come up off of you. You know what I mean? So, like, trying to come up off of your success. So, it goes back to, yeah, trying to figure out what your success secrets are. But there, but a change is here. Somebody definitely needs to protect their root chakra. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah. Whoever you know this message is for, just know that there is a psycho lurking. Even if they haven't, you know what I'm saying, got locked up where they need to go. But somebody needs to know that there is a psycho lurking. Um, but I feel like the yeah. Somebody also needs to get ready, get ready, get ready. Because yeah, there is some piping hot tea that's about to be brought to somebody. Mm-hmm. So let's get out the letters and see uh, what we can get with these. We got a W and an E. So somebody's first mother last name could start with a W or an E or a J or an S. So something about Jews. So somebody could be a Jew. Or, yeah, somebody was talking greasy about Jews. 
Mm -mm. Somebody's name could be Wes or Wesley. Somebody could like to sew, you know, like sew clothing. That's, yeah, something about, yeah, somebody reaping what they sow or people reaping what they sow. Somebody's first mother last name could start with an H. Or a P. Q. Somebody stinks. Somebody's name could be JP or PJ. We got a V. So somebody's first mother last name could start with a V. Somebody could be from West Virginia. We got another H. We got an X. So somebody's X is definitely involved. Somebody's first mother last name could start with an X. We got an N. So somebody's first mother last name could start with an N. We got an I. So somebody's first mother last name could start with an I. Something about somebody's veins. Somebody definitely could have been using, yeah, Jesus' name in vain. Or, yeah, people are were trying to lie and say that, yeah, somebody is using um, Jesus' name in vain. We got pins out here. So somebody definitely, yeah, could have some type of voodoo doll sticking pins in it. We got an F. So somebody's first mother last name could start with an F. Something about some fines. Somebody could have some fines. Something about, yeah, some something being finished. Somebody, yeah, could think that somebody is like fine. Something about somebody's sins as well. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a U or a B. Ah, uh, something about yeah. Somebody telling somebody it would be it would behoove them to ask for forgiveness for their sins is what I'm picking up because we have the word behoove. I don't use behoove, so it's somebody that uses behoove that's telling somebody that they behoove them. You know what I mean? Somebody's name could be Jesse. We got another U. So somebody's first mother last name can start with a U. We got another P. We got a K. So somebody's first mother last name could start with a K. Somebody's name could be Kevin. We got a pub out here. So something about a uh, pub. Something about, yes, pin number. So something about uh, somebody's pin number. Yeah, something about Pornhub. We got West Virginia. So yeah, I definitely was picking up on West Virginia. Somebody... Mm. Somebody's first mother last name could start with an F. F. Somebody could be from North Dakota. Something about wine. Wine skins. Yeah, you can't put new uh, new wine in old vats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got another E. We got an L. Something 
Something about the color blue. Somebody could have blue hair. Something about a blue ship. Or something about a shipment. Something about blue jeans. We have Ken out here. So something about, yeah, family. But something about juvenile. We got uh, a G. So somebody's first middle or last name can start with a G. Something about blue glue. Something about blue gel. Somebody could have a pug, like a dog. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be sin uh, sinking, you know what I mean? Like drowning. We have Alabama. So somebody could be from Alabama. Somebody could have pink hair or blue hair or something about the colors pink and blue. Somebody's name could be Justin, Jessen, Jesse. Something about pink Nikes, blue Nikes. We got an M. So somebody's first name or last name can start with an M. Something about the nighttime. Something about a PIMP. Somebody could think that they're a pimp. We got a, another S. So somebody's first mother last name could start with an S. Something about, yeah, somebody missing somebody. Somebody could drink skim milk. Somebody's name could be Nick, Nicholas, Nikki. We got an A. So somebody's first mother last name could start with an A. Somebody's name could be Sam, Samantha. Something about Saks Fifth Avenue. Something about Google Maps. Something about making jeans. Something about, yes, yeah, sticking like glue. Yeah, something about melanin. Somebody has melanin. Melanin. Somebody's name could be Melanie. PSA, public service announcement. There could be some type of public service announcement. Somebody could be from Belgium or somebody likes Belgium waffles. Somebody could be from Kansas. Something about the blame game. Something about, yeah, blaming, trying to blame Jesus. So somebody definitely could be blaming Jesus for some stuff that, that's that's going on in their life. Uh, somebody definitely could. Somebody's name could be Gus. Somebody could be Asian. Yeah, 
Yeah, something about an EIN number. Somebody could be from Minnesota. Somebody could be from Nevada. Yeah, something about a cell phone. Something about Vine. Vine Street. Something about somebody being slammed. Somebody could, yeah, be in the slammer. Something about somebody being slain. Somebody's a bum. Something about some men. So there could be a group, a group of men. Something about SEX. Yeah, we got jail. So somebody definitely, yeah, could be in jail. Somebody could be try could be having SEX in jail with men. Something is BS because we got BS out here. Something about an NIL. So somebody could get an NIL deal. Something, yeah, something about a meal ticket. So somebody definitely could be looking at somebody like a meal ticket. Something about some keys money. Whatever that is. I think that's for college. So something about college money. Yeah, something about, yeah, somebody making money. Somebody's phone definitely could be bugged or something like that. Somebody, that, yeah, definitely could be in a jam. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to leave it there. So that's been your message, y'all. And as I always say, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher. And everything is going to work out. So, with that being said, <laughs> that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.